stuff. Like I listen to this podcast with Pomp and Ralph Paul and uh, also uh, Rich Dad uh, Kiyosaki. And all these big macro traders are like balls deep in Bitcoin, but they, and some of them are invested a little bit in ETH, but they don't see alts as anything other than a trading opportunity. Like they're not seeing that as an investment. And because of the limited supply of Bitcoin and because of potentially the deflationary limited supply of Ethereum after 2.0, that will go up because of supply and demand. Whereas altcoins, there's, I mean, there's like 8,000 altcoins now. I think two months ago, there were 5,000. It's just like, there's no, there's no limit to the supply of them. So I don't think that a lot of them are going to go up. Even some of the big ones, I'm not too bullish on. Yeah, I would totally I'm disagree with that coins. yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very bullish yeah i think when you look back at what happened last time i mean i always like to say it's a it's like a fondue fountain you know i mean you got your fondue coming out the top which is bitcoin and then it goes to the second level which is ethereum then it just goes down from there and you know you're talking about some of these investors that are very they're very like targeted and short-sighted on what they're seeing i think uh, they're, they're looking at the plus sides of all of the bigger coins or of Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two biggest coins. Uh, people are starting to look at Ethereum the same way people were looking at Bitcoin in 2017. You got a lot of people want to be kind of first movers and, you know, they just announced, you know, CME just announced their futures contracts for Ethereum and things like that. Um, but your retail investors, because you have to remember, the altcoin markets don't need as much as Bitcoin needs to move. So your retail investors are always going to be looking at the smaller coins. Like, I, I don't know anyone who who gets into crypto and it knows about anything outside of Bitcoin is like, you know what? I won't put all my money in Bitcoin. They, they don't want to do that. They, they, they don't understand the tokenomics and the supplies. And, and only 7% of Bitcoin is on exchanges. And that's the only yeah. part of Bitcoin that affects the price. So that's a $38 billion market cap. That's fair. It's not that much enough. compared with a lot of all coins out there. Yeah. It's still, I mean, it still takes a lot to move the Bitcoin though. It, it takes a lot to move the Bitcoin. Okay. Um, but I, I, I think the all coins, I, I think that, Bill was right on. I think he's dead on with the top coins. That's why, like, I've really shifted a lot of my strategies recently. I'm looking at, you know, uh, my top coins, I'll probably do a video on this soon, but it's, you know, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Chainlink, Polkadot, maybe Tezos, uh, you know, um, the, those are ones I'm looking at. And I, CRO is another one I think is going to have a little renaissance here. But, um, you know, it, outside of that, when you're looking at the smaller coins, when you're looking at your micro caps and, 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 and things like that, I mean, it really is like just playing roulette right now. You're trying to find the ones that can really get up with the bigger coins. But I don't think we're going to see the, you know, the, the true alt season where the smaller coins that are like under a million market cap really, really pump uh, more than just one here, one there. I mean, probably until the middle of next year. Yeah. I mean, also, Willie Wu did this post where he looks at the Ooh. top 2,600 altcoins out there, compares mm -hmm. them to Bitcoin. About 10 of the top 2,600 are oscillators. The rest are degenerators. Mm -hmm. So basically, 2,590 altcoins just lose their value compared with Bitcoin. 10 oscillate back and forth, Dogecoin, Stellar, some other ones. But pretty much, I don't... I mean, we're, we're all looking for short-term games in altcoins. I mean, that's what we're all looking for, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, uh, people are always talking about stacking sats. I mean, I'm, I'm trying gaining guays now. That's what I'm doing. I'm gaining guays. I'm trying to get the, the, my Ethereum stacked up, okay? I, yeah. I, I'm trying to get as much Ethereum as possible because I think it's going to outperform Bitcoin by two to three times over the next year. That's all I'm doing with all these other coins. What's yeah. that? It, the network effect. It could be the top altcoins or the top coin soon. Yeah. It could outdo Bitcoin. Yeah. It can. I, I think so. I mean, it, it, if it can just get... You know, uh, I bring this up a lot on my channel, which is Ethereum at its peak uh, compared to Bitcoin was actually 15% of Bitcoin's price. One Ethereum was 15% of one Bitcoin. Around the, the peak of the bull run last year, it was around 10%. Right now it's at 2.8 to 2.9%. If it can just get back up to 7.5%, it would three times outperform Bitcoin in terms of your investment ROI. Okay. So, but yeah, I agree. I mean, so I think Ethereum is the future, right? Because everyone's yeah, putting too, all the yeah. attention on Bitcoin. Yep. Bitcoin is the old man's strength, honestly, right? Uh -huh. Institutions mm -hmm. are getting into Bitcoin. And for the first time in history, retail investors and traders were able to front run institutions in Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now yeah. they're on board Bitcoin, they're sleeping on Ethereum. I think yeah. Ethereum is, is real money. Honestly, I'm not paying too much attention, too, too, too much focus into Bitcoin because ETH is a real move. ETH 2.0 mm -hmm. is coming out, also pumping, DeFi mm -hmm. is happening. This is where the money is, as in, yeah. in my we, opinion. We can't forget about 
dot either. You can't, you can't forget about parachains dot that ecosystem is going to yeah. explode. It already is yeah. exploding. Mm. I mean, if you invest in a new project, that's dot, you know, it's going to go up yeah. <laughs> just because it's on dot. Uh, it seems like that's the, the new theme in crypto, especially if you're investing in like these newer projects that come out. Um, they're doing some multi X games. <laughs> so, I, I, I love it. I would just say the awareness of dot is nowhere near the awareness of Ethereum. Oh, it's got the money in it because it's got big yeah. investment money in it. But I think that's really where Ethereum shines is by the end of this bull run. I think Ethereum is going to be a household name like Bitcoin yeah. you know, was from last bull run. Yeah. And I think yeah. this, the Ethereum CME features that are coming out in Feb, that's kind of the start of institutions getting into Ethereum. Yep. Yeah. Can I?